Hey, hi, hello, it's Michael Exile. This is a live commentary. We're back on the PTB. It is live today, the one we discussed last week. If you don't know the changes, you probably should look at my last video. But holy shit! This is my this is literally my first time seeing this map, and it's honestly, I don't know how to feel about it. It's very gray. I mean my no, it's it's very oh my god. I don't know how I feel about it. This is my first impression. But yeah, I'm not going to be really be discussing all the changes. I have We're Gonna Live Forever equipped because it's one of the perks I got changed. I'm not really interested in Technician or anything. I also have a press, Repressed Alliance so I can counter pop and see how that works out. But I mostly just wanted to see the map changes. I'll probably have a different video with my thoughts on these map changes. I just need to give it some time to marinate in my brain because I can't just, you know, jump the gun and say what I think. But it's a pyramid head. I just saw him. Hell yeah. I've heard a lot of like horror stories about people not playing against Pyramid Head, so. This is a good first game. I I really I sh I don't want to do a generator. I want to see what this map looks like. These walls look extremely different. I don't know how the hell like I feel like the uh the red stain going through the wall the wall is just gonna be dead. This is actually insane. It might be harder to tell where the killer is at with these new walls, man. It looks like everything just blends in now. It's it's actually a mess. I don't know exactly how I feel about it. He might also have he might also have the what was it called? Was it force penance? One of the perk that they fixed his uh, terror radius where you kick it. Oh, we got a DC. No, he... It took... It took a while for it to disappear, did it not? That wasn't that long. We might even have, like, a lot of a chance to get into these changes. Oh, that did seem a little bit quicker. I like that. Okay. Hopefully he, like, kind of, like, eases up on us. Oh. Okay. That's lovely. Honestly, I'm going to keep it real. I was never really a fan of going against Pyramid Head because of how people play. But I hope this guy just, like, eases up a little bit. Because, like, come on. Is he looking at the change? Dude, that actually does look pretty cool. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. It looks really weird, though, with, like, my filter on. I'll turn the filter off just to see how it goes. I didn't even look at the hooks. Yeah, they look pretty... Is that how they always look? I never really played on y Yamaoka that much. So, like, I don't know. Since the changes, at least. So I don't know if the basement hooks always look like this. It does look nice in here, though. He has the perk, but it only lasted for so long. He definitely doesn't seem like a, a meanie. You know you get some of those people sometimes in this uh, PTB. I mean, I guess. That's kind of wild, man. The shack looks insane. I, I actually love it. That The shack looks neat. The trees look kind of... The trees look kind of like trees. Uh, Is this a hill? Please don't come over here. Dude, I can't I can't get you in there. Hold on. I can't go through that. Dude, really? I have to like go to that little hole again. Wait. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, thank God. That was like an unlucky placement. Unless he knows. This has to be like a pyramid head main. What the hell? I don't know how I feel about that one. The lockers look so much better on this map. The lockers look so much better than the updated lockers on like the old maps i guess we just have to wait for all the maps to get reworked yeah he doesn't want me <laughs> probably should run bro i want to look at the map leave me alone let's go look. i don't want to i don't really care about any of this well i gotta say that it looks really messy there's a lot of trees it looks extremely like like i don't want to say that it should look like clean and organized you know hmm it looks nice enough i don't know it makes me kind of afraid for the other map changes. Because it, it just looks... It's hard to look at. For some reason, it's kind of hard to look at. There's something about it that makes it really hard to look at. The patchy grass just doesn't sit right with me. Like, I feel like the grass is kind of distracting. Like, it, it's not misplaced. It's just like... I wonder how it is from a killer perspective. I should probably try to killer match. I might go against what I said and... 
actually play killer. I'm glad this guy's playing fair, though. He's not playing like a complete sweat lord. Those boxes look kind of weird. I, I was just trying to look at the box, my guy. That looks cool. These new boxes here look cool. I ha Huntress is going to be like having a field day on these loops. As a Huntress main, I see it happening from a mile away. Maybe less like collision with like boxes. There's not as much like uh, coverage near when you're getting near the pallet. There's a lot of more like things you can shoot over. Like look, you're looping, you're looping. You can't really hide like right here or anything. I feel like you're gonna get hit a lot more often. I definitely have to try it from a uh I have to try it from a uh killer perspective for sure. I like some I think I think it's just some of the spots, dude. The exigate looks insane. It, it makes a lot more sense. It's actually a building now and not just like a, a storefront and like the rest is just like empty. It has more like structure to it. Look at that. That's really nice. I need to get upstairs. This car has no texture. None of the, the both of the cars don't have texture. This looks really cool. Ooh, look at the little paint buckets. The stairs are like, damn. There's like a tarp. Oh, what the fuck? Huh? Dude, the chat. Th this is exam an example of why. I, I guess we just have to wait for all the maps to get changed because these chests do not look this good in the other maps. I guess they just like future proof them. I would love to see iron work though. Oh man. This looks insane though. I actually like this. The, the, the gen light's a little too bright in this room. Like it's kind of washing out all the details in that corner, but this wall right here is more natural. Not bad, not bad. How do I have three, uh... Oh, because I unhooked people. Come here, big boy. Oh, dude. Yeah, that lasted a long time this time around. Now let's actually try to loop. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of different when you're going against a pyramid head on these loops. It's not like a good mix, I guess. He's like a, what do you call it, like a, a loop, a loop denial killer, I guess, you know? Like, you don't want to get caught in that. Why do you hook me? Oh, you probably wanted to know where the person was. I mean, I guess we got a good look at this map. It's very crowded. It just feels crowded. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Like, it just looks crowded. There's a lot of trees. I guess that's like the theme of the map though. I wonder what uh Yeah, you see like if that perk doesn't have a cooldown, we'll have to check. But if that perk doesn't have a cooldown, like he'll be sneaking up on like the sneaking up on us like the, he just did when we were with Nia like over and over. Killers constantly doing that is going to be so frustrating. Like I feel that. Like generators are are our only objective and like they could just kick him over and over, man. It's gonna happen. All right, we're back for uh, Suffocation Pit. That's our next map to look at here. Probably one of the more exciting ones, I guess. It's I like Suffocation Pit more than uh, the last one, so. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's a plague? What is she kicking? A generator? Or oh, wait, hold on. What does she kick? Oh, is that the wall? Is there a breakable wall there? What? What the hell are you doing? What the fuck? Do it. Why is she playing Plague? Hmm, so... I can't really observe the map very well, but it feels... This one feels like a more traditional loop. I feel like they put the big boxes at the end, though. Not today. Oh, that totem is slightly more hidden. The logs look like logs. Oh, this area is so... That's a bad totem spot. This area is much more open. What happened to the loops in the middle here? What happened to the loops? There's a hill there. There's a pallet there. There's at least like one pallet in the middle here. So I guess, I mean, you could run from that loop over there to over here on the right side to this side. But like, if you're running straight from the building over here, you're probably going to like have a lot of close calls. It's much more spread out in the middle. Bit of a, more of a dead zone there. This area is feeling very dead or not dead, but like very cluttered. 
I really wish I wasn't going against a plague, like of all things. There's like coal coal mine things here, that's cool. Carts, mine carts. Not bad. A lot more variety like in the loot design. Okay. Why though? Why though? Okay, that's not a breakable wall. She has ruin. Why is she ru she was running like ruin and what? Might be undying, honestly. Dude, oh my god, this we're gonna live forever buff though. That's this raw we're gonna live forever. You see that? Holy cow. Dude, this oh my god, the little lantern down there. That's a nice little touch. I like that. The lockers look a little bit more basic in this one. I don't know why. They look kind of different. I guess it's the lighting there. Yeah, this area feels dead. This area feels extremely dead. Damn, this guy sure is a buzzkill. My god. I'm gonna get sick again, but it's better than, like, being one hit to the pool she's inevitably gonna drink. I haven't gotten to explore this side of the map yet. Alright, let's see. Uh-huh, the tires. The tank, tank tires, I don't know what you call them. A much less, like... Nicely structured uh, pile of wood there. Same old uh, shack there. Huh. This one's a little bit more like... This one's easier on the eyes for sure. But it still feels very like... I think like while it's nice to have like this grittier look, I think it's hard to tell things apart. And I feel like some people might have a have that issue much worse than me. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's just very like gray. I don't know. This area is like a dead zone. This loop is like, oh my, they they messed up this loop. They only, okay. Huh. So let's say I'm running this loop. If they're going that way. Yeah, you basically can do this and they could just walk around. And that's open so you don't just get stuck in a corner or something. That's not bad, I guess. Oh, my infectious went off. Might as well slug everybody. Oh, that's... I can't see. Okay. I can't see. I, like, it felt really dark there for a second. I thought I was going the right way. Good thing I have We're Gonna Live Forever. I can't really... This W. Press W. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press the W. Dude. I might just cut this game out and, uh, move on to the next one. I'm not cut it out, but, you know. So we're back on Ironworks of Misery. Another map I have not yet to see yet gotten to see let's see how this one looks i'm not really ecstatic about the last two changes or the last two maps i saw with the changes so this one's shaping up to look a lot better i think in my opinion let's see let's go inside the building see how it looks uh breakable door there loop here okay oh that's a pretty unsafe loop but all right um uh, Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the fuck is this? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not... Okay. I am very... Uh, I'm in pain. <laughs> I am in a lot of pain. As a survivor player, dude, I am in so much pain. All these maps are shaping up to look like, to look like the same thing, honestly. Although this one... I don't know. I have this issue where, like, I don't know if it's just my brain, but it definitely feels like it's harder to, like, discern things from their background, I guess, in a way, if that makes any sense. So it seems like, <laughs> I don't think they have the perk, but it seems like alert would be a good counter to uh, the... The, uh, the pyramid head perk that they changed. A shack looking same old, same old. Okay. Okay. So, like, let's try to run to the building and see what our options are. I don't think we have many options. Wait, what the hell? So I have to run around this thing? Oh, she tried to spin them. Oof. Get them. Hmm. 
Yeah, overall, the loops are looking great, I think. The loops are looking great. But, like... Like, the map as a whole... The maps as a whole are feeling very, uh... I don't know. They're pretty, but not practical. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm going to have a good time as a survivor on these maps. Considering, like, the loops they've kind of changed. Like, on, uh... The, uh... The last map we got with the plague, the main building was very... seemed almost useless, you know? I feel like the main building on this one probably won't see that much play, because there's not much inside it. The door is blocked, so if they never break that door, like, you don't have an exit. You have to go through the big entrances only. Or you can go upstairs, which also has nothing from what I'm assuming. Ah, oh, I fucked up. Okay. Um, what gen is he kicking? Yeah, he doesn't have the perk. He does not have the perk. He's kicking a lot of things. He sure loves the kick. If they don't add a cooldown to the pyramid head perk for the no terror radius or undetectable status, I think alert's gonna be like a must for a while. Cause like you don't wanna just get caught off guard all the time, you know? It's gonna get a little frustrating. Like, you see, like, this is not... I don't like this. Like, like okay. Like, I'm just gonna run this way. I guess they assume I'm gonna run this way. There's no... There was a pallet here. So I run this way. What am I gonna do next? Go up here? Go to those loops over there, possibly? If there's even, was even a pallet here? I don't see any pallet shards. I think the area surrounding this building is going to need some, like, more frequent, like, pallet generation. They close this door, too. Okay. So, I guess they expect the top to get a lot more play. Because if the killer has to either break that or go through the window, it gives you more, like, time to make some distance. Maybe balance would be good on here. Well, it's always good on... You know, from any high area, but I feel like they want the top area to get a lot more play and not just have people uh, hump the bottom floor the whole time. Which makes sense. This building was very strong, and even with the uh, breakable wall they added before this map change... Dude, this area... This, I need to look at this area again on the back of the shack. But yeah, those hooks and stuff looking real good. Let's see what the back of this shack looks like right over here so something looked off to me okay so that loop is still here thank god uh yeah these uh, these walls over here are still there hmm it seems like they like strategically placed these so they wouldn't connect in a way where i mean they still connect pretty well <laughs> this is like i guess they made up for all the uh the lack of loopage on the other side with all this stuff like you just loop it over and over it actually looks like it might be nice for a survivor like these loop generations right here it's probably gonna change per like per game you know since rng and all but dude i'm getting stuck on everything but yeah like i said it is like i think the maps in general just feel cluttered they gutted some of the loops and the maps just feel cluttered and i don't know where i'm going <laughs> dude I literally, I thought, I, I'm just not used to this. I haven't been playing in a while. I haven't been playing as often, I should say, so. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm thinking here. Like, the maps just feel cluttered. The map feels tighter. With all these, like, things. Like, trees and, like, rubble. Debris. And the middle building feels gutted. Like, I don't know if I even want to go upstairs. I feel like... The distance you would gain from going through the upstairs window as a survivor probably isn't that great. Okay, so instead of trying to get a game in Sheltered Woods, I think I'm going to end the video here. I played on three of the maps and they all felt identical to me, so Sheltered Woods didn't seem that important. Overall, my impressions for today at least are that visually the map is pretty in some ways, but there is so much clutter that it makes it hard to enjoy. I kept feeling like the map was crowded and very distracting for the most part. I think it just has to do with the third person, since as killer I felt a little bit less overwhelmed, but overall I feel like the textures are very busy and the whole map 
just kind of blends into one texture from when you're looking from a distance and you have a lot of things layered behind each other and stuff. It just felt very cluttered, and I think that will be a complaint that we'll be hearing in the future. Gameplay-wise, I felt like the main buildings were gutted and useless. As a survivor, I ran into these buildings, and the surrounding area felt empty, the inside of the building felt empty. It seems like they're trying to make more use of the entire building, in terms of like ironworks at least, but for the most part, it just seemed like I never want to loop that area as a survivor, or else it's bad for me. And the breakable walls included on these buildings also seemed like they would put the killer at a disadvantage if they broke them, and the meaning of these breakable walls was supposed to be like, an added layer to the gameplay, but it seems like killers probably don't want to break them, and in turn, survivors won't ever be able to make use of these entrances, and it just seems useless at this point. I also found myself in areas that just felt empty with maybe one pallet in sight for miles, and while I understand why these changes are coming to these maps, there was a lot of like safe loops and stuff, I think this might be a step too far, as I think I would probably get down most of the time before I even got to a loop in some of these areas, and it just didn't feel great as a survivor. But as a Huntress main, I did find some more interesting opportunities for shots at loops, and that felt great. Like some of these uh, rubble debris loops had a lot more opportunities for me to throw my projectiles over them, and that was amazing. But overall, as a whole, the visuals and gameplay definitely need some adjustments. Like I said, it just feels cluttered, and the gameplay, there's a lot of dead areas, and it feels like a lot of the map is just off limits, or else you're just going to die. But, that being said, I hope you enjoyed my first impressions on the new maps. I stream most days of the week over at twitch.tv forward slash michaelexile if you want to have a discussion about these changes and future changes. I'm also pretty active on Twitter over at michaelexile, or you can join my community discord, The Small Game Society. I appreciate you for watching, I hope to see you again soon. For now, good luck in the fog, and I'll catch you in the next one.